So the Corsage Project, it's a non-profit program in partnership with the Children's Aid Foundation. And this upcoming weekend, we will be hosting our annual boutique ball, where some describe it as a giant shopping extravaganza, where mm -hmm. 350 deserving young ladies will attend. And when they do, they will be greeted by their very own personal shopper and over a thousand dresses to choose from, accessories, makeup, mini makeovers. It's really going to be a fantastic event. I've been to this and it's the most unbelievable experience. The expectations are immense. I mean, there are surveys out there that the bare minimum cost to go to the prom today is upwards of $500, and that's a minimum. And that's, a, that's actually a bargain, believe that's it or not. That's a minimum. Yeah. That's, that's a minimum. It's very costly to go to the prom. Beyond the cost of the ticket itself, you have the dress, the shoes, mm -hmm. the yeah. accessories, the hair, everything. It's very, very costly. And for many students who don't have the funds to go, I mean, they, they feel too embarrassed that they don't, that they don't well, have the funds to purchase the attire to attend. Parents at home with young children who haven't quite reached that layer, I've just been, in, I'm still shell-shocked from the past few years going through this. I had no idea. I have friends who spent less on wedding gowns for themselves than these young girls are seemingly expected to spend. Um, my daughter just finished working really hard on extra hours, and she went to one of these prom stores, and she bought something off last year's rack, and it was $400. Wow. So, you know, then that's a kid that really put her heart and mind into it and decided to save, and not everyone even has that opportunity with work, not even, or, and certainly not with family, and I know I couldn't supplement her that way. And yet there are, and she's still fortunate she was able to pull that together. But for so many, that's not an option. Well, it sounds like your daughter is very crafty, so I commend her for that. <laughs> she sounds like quite the entrepreneurial lady. But it's true. I mean, we service a really unique population. Many of our girls are in the foster care yeah. system. Other, other students we service, they're newcomers to Canada. They simply do not have the resources to celebrate their graduation. So for anyone out there who would like to consider being part of this, how many more young women are there out there that you just would love to be able to accommodate? Well, we have spots for this weekend. So if anyone is listening and they know a youth in need, they just have to go to corsageproject.ca and sign up because we have room to outfit more young ladies this weekend. Wow. You do? We have some room. Some room. Wow. We do have some room. I, I say that with a caveat. We do have some room. Click the channel subscribe button for full-length interviews and more from What She Said here on YouTube.